not as an extension but built directly into automatic 1111 stable diffusion web ui sdxl support is finally officially here it is still not completely refined yet and hasn't been merged with the master branch but you can start using it and many people have started posting their results as well as their issues from the commits it looks like laras are also supported as you cannot use the zipped or built file directly, you first need to install the prerequisites that is Git and Python 3.10.6. Git is super simple to install. Go to the official website git-scm.com slash download and then choose your operating system. I'll be downloading for Windows which gives you 32-bit and 64-bit installers. I have a 64-bit CPU so I'll download that. After downloading, launch the installer. All the default settings are fine, so you don't have to worry about them. After finishing, to check if Git is working properly, open command prompt and type Git and press enter. Next, we need to install Python 3.10. Follow the link given to go to the downloads page of Python 3.10.6. From there, download the installer depending on your OS. All the default settings are fine for this installer as well. Just make sure that add python to environment variables is ticked and it's better to not change the install location. Now to install SDXL in automatic 11. First go to the official automatic 11 repo with 90,000 stars. Then click on the code drop down and copy the HTTPS link. Now open a folder in which you want to install auto 11. Right click and open in terminal or shift right click and open in terminal for older version of windows then type git clone and use right click or any other way to paste the copied https link from github it should only take a few seconds to clone then use cd command to go into the repo git switch sdxl which will switch it to the SDXL development branch from master. That is all. You're now in the SDXL branch. Windows users need to run web UI user.bat. Other users have other scripts. You can directly double click the web UI dash user.bat or type dot slash web UI dash user.bat in the already open terminal. This will take some time as it will download and install all the required files and packages including PyTorch. After it completes, it will start running locally on localhost 7860. You can close all the terminals. Running WebUI user.bat will now launch it on this port every time. An important thing, please copy the STXL 0.9 safe tensor file to model slash stable diffusion folder inside the stable diffusion web UI folder. You can get a copy of this safe tensor file from Hugging Face repo, which is now almost public. You still need to fill the form, but they give access to everyone. Now, if you run the web UI, you should be able to select the STXL 0.9 tensor from the checkpoints drop down. Web UI will process the file for a bit, after which you can generate. For stability, it is better to close the terminal as well as the window and restart web UI dash user.bat. Let's add the same prompts that we added to Comfy UI. And it fails to generate saying that a tensor with all NANs was produced. To fix this, open the web UI user.bat script file in a text editor like Notepad and add the argument no halfway to set command line arcs. Save and run the script again. Now with the same prompt it finally produces an image. But as you can see it's not great, which is the same problem that we ran into with Comfy UI. To fix it all you need to do is increase the resolution to 1024 into 1024. Now it generates a much better image. Let's try again. One thing to note is that it takes 10 to 12 gigs of VRAM to generate one image on my system while Comfy UI only took around 8 GB. This has also been pointed out by other users. This will get optimized further till the time it gets actually released. Let us try with realistic prompts. Overall pretty good results. 
Another thing to note is that Auto 11.11 currently doesn't have support for ensemble models, so you can't use the refiner model. As you can see in my comfy UI guide that the additional refiner model helps add amazing details, especially to the colors, faces, hands and outfits of the generated image. One complaint I do have regarding the refiner is that it makes all the faces look very similar. Quick tip, since SDXL branch is still in development, to get the most up-to-date features and fixes, run git pull every now and then, or you can see the commit history on GitHub to see if any new changes have been added before pulling. If you want to try it out in Comfy UI, check out the other videos. I also promised to make one for running SDXL on low VRAM devices, on AMD devices and on M1 M2 MacBooks. But since SDXL 1.0 launches just around the corner, please wait for the official release first. I'll definitely cover SDXL 1.0, LoRa's other operating systems and graphics card in the future, so do make sure to subscribe.